Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the interesting chess games that I played a few days back. Here I was playing as white and I started off with d4. My open responds with knight f6 and I went with bishop g5 attacking the knight straight away. Here my open plays knight e4 hitting the bishop and I got my bishop backwards on h4. Here my open plays d5 and pawn to e3 just trying to consolidate the center now. Here my open response uh, with c5, trying to break open the c file early or maybe trying to take control of the center. Both ways, uh, it looks good for uh, white to be uh, doing that straight away. I played c3 and now my open plays knight c6. Now before we continue further with this game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. Here, uh, I responded with bishop uh, b5, uh, pinning the knight for uh, temporarily. Here my opponent plays queen c7, uh, trying to make sure that if I take the knight now, the pawn section doesn't get spoiled and he can take back with the queen as well. Also preparing to play e6 or e5 as now there's no uh, pin on the pawn due to uh, queen moving uh, sidewards from, uh, from the bishop. Here I went with knight d2 and my opponent takes on the knight and I take back with the queen and then finally e6 played by the opponent. Here I went with uh, bishop g3 again hitting the queen and now uh, opponent plays bishop d6 trying to exchange the dark square bishops here. I took on the pawn first uh, uh, on c5 and opponent takes the bishop. And as soon as the opponent takes the bishop, I take back uh, the same with h2 takes on h3, on g3, sorry. And thereafter, uh, my opponent castles and I uh, went with queen on to c2, attacking the pawn on h7, uh, threatening checkmate. So opponent had to defend and opponent decides to play g6 here. I went with a knight f3, opponent gets his knight out onto e5, trying to exchange the knights, uh, which I denied, of course. I didn't want to exchange knights uh, and let the opponent queen come out uh, and attack. Plus, uh, what this knight does on g5 is still attack on h7. So I'm threatening to take a pawn here. My opponent plays h5, trying to defend the pawn, and I castle queen side. Just making sure that my rooks are connected. Uh, the king is pretty safe here, and then I can just line up the rooks and attack. Here my opponent takes on the free pawn, which was lying there. And I went with a bishop onto d3 uh, with the ideas of maybe sacking the bishop someday on g6. My opponent takes on the bishop straight away with the knight, and I take back with the queen. And things look pretty even out here. Uh, white has slight advantage, of course, because the knight is pretty good there and uh, castling is done on the right side and uh, my rook and queen are lined up in the center and pawn structure also uh, looks pretty decent here. Uh, yes, there are double pawns, but that can be used to break open the situation as well. And after, and then my opponent plays uh, pawn to f5. Now that was a strange move because uh, it's only weakening up your king side, uh, nothing more than that. Also, uh, the pawn now on e6 is a target as well in future once the bishop moves because the bishop hasn't been developed yet. Also, the rook is uh, not used. Here, I went with a queen to e2, trying to make sure that I'm able to play maybe pawn forward in the next move, uh, though computer suggesting uh, you can play g4 straight away because once the opponent maybe if decides to capture with the other pawn here, with the f pawn, you can simply take uh, here and then that would be made in two. And uh, of course, once you do take, there's only one place where the opponent can go and that's checkmate as well. Or you can take with the rook. Either way, it's a checkmate. Uh, and if you just played uh, the pawn, uh, sorry, we'll go back here. And if I still play pawn forward and opponent decides to take with the other pawn, again, this is bad because my rook gets to have the control of the seventh rank. And then suddenly I'll be coming with the other rook as well. Maybe queen can also uh, continue hitting uh, the uh, center first and maybe exchanging the queens can, not, can also be a good option because then you can get your rook as well into the picture so that the queen is also not defending the, the situation. So 
9.4 in the favor of white here if opponent takes so i could have played pawn forward but instead in the game i went with queen e2 and then my opponent plays b5 trying to attack me from the uh, queen side i went with f3 and then going for g4 was my plan opponent plays pawn forward now i went with g4 opponent takes on the pawn i let that go i took on the other pawn uh, first on the h file my opponent takes another pawn here giving me a check and what i do here is slide under the pawn it's always a safe option you can use this as a defense just move a king let the opponent take all the pawns they want to and you can just slide under it's completely safe nothing is going to haunt the king here uh, que queen is on dark square uh, so no light control square is there by for the opponent the bishop light square bishop is very passive but so there's no attack happening here and after my i slide my king there my opponent goes back with the queen to b1 uh, to e e7 trying to defend uh, the situation on the king side because my attack was on as well and here i played pawn forward first trying to defend the knight uh, and my opponent went with a5 trying to push the pawns further which doesn't make sense because i take on the pawn next h takes on g6 and now there are lots of threats happening uh now uh queen is going to come here uh, that is the biggest threat that that lies ahead opponent cannot do much about the situation but uh, tries to attack the queen and queen comes on to h5 as i said it was going to come anyway uh, and that move couldn't have been stopped there the best move for the opponent is well is to play queen to f6 and then again queen comes on to h5 and i am threatening uh, checkmate from h7 as well so that can be defended for temporarily with rook comes or uh, the queen uh, comes in between but eventually uh, some attack still continues because the, of the open h file and that's why 8.1 in favor of white here here uh, my opponent tries to attack the bish the queen with the bishop i went with queen h5 opponent plays queen on to f6 i don't know why because that lands into a checkmate straight away uh had he played queen uh to uh, g uh g7 there i can take on the pawn with the knight it's a fork again i'll be uh, winning one of the pieces for sure the next best move what computer is saying is to give a check or to just uh get the uh, fork between rook and queen as the initial move was suggested by the computer even if bishop is here you can simply take there's no threats happening opponent can try and do some stuff but won't lose the queen eventually and point is if you try to save the queen here it is going to be checkmate on uh h8 or h7 so wherever if you just try to move the queen out of danger that's checkmate so a queen can't be saved and the game would be over shortly so after a move which my opponent plays uh queen to f6 my opponent decides to resign because anyways that was mate and one from there so a good attack using up the open h file eventually uh sliding under the pawn uh, which was a threat as well once my opponent was taking the pawns uh, on my queen side after castling so sliding under it using it as a defense and then uh, attacking uh, on the king side uh, makes this game a bit special for me i hope you like the video do let me know your feedback keep watching and sharing do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now and i shall see you tomorrow thank you so much for your time take care bye bye